Hello everybody and welcome to Idiots in Space. Today we are going to have some fun. We are going to go chase down some rogue ships just for, you know, the fun of it. Uh, but I wanted to point this out to you guys. Uh, do you remember the little ladybug ship that I made? Um, yeah, so I went mining with it for about an hour earlier today. And then I let it sit for about four hours while everything refines. And, uh, it's still going. <laughs> um, I think I'm pretty well set with supplies for a little while. I don't think I'm going to have to go mining for a while, so that's all good. Um, boop. Okay. As you can see, I named this guy, the yellow ship, I named him Yellow. Um, I named the red ship Little Red, but his reactor's not on, so his beacon's not lit at the moment. And boy, howdy, are those beacons bright. Now, also, the observant um, of you will notice something in the corner right now, the upper right-hand corner on the red ship right now. You see it? You see it? Yes. Um... I got bored while I was waiting for things to refine, and I chased down one of those rogue ships. Uh, and this is the business shipment, which I believe is the smallest of the business class. Like, there are, there are three classes. Uh, business, mining, military. And then there are three sizes to each class. And I believe business shipment is the smallest class. Now, if we want to check this thing out a little bit, the, ba the door is in the back, so you have to go in the back end. There is no gravity generator at all, so you still have to fly through the place. Um, boop. And if we hit I for inventory, we can see that we have 31 kilograms of uranium. Uh, a little bit of cobalt, a little bit of silicon, uh, some parts, a couple of hand drills, <laughs> a welder, I guess in case I lose them. And yeah, we got a couple parts, a couple spare ores. It's all cool. Um, but to be perfectly honest, I don't like the look of this ship. It's kind of ugly, and it's kind of small. Uh, it's so small it doesn't have a freaking gravity generator. But it's got a... Uh, what are these things called? A collector. Yay. And it's got a connector... Which, I'm really disappointed that connectors don't work uh, that way. Um, you know, what I was expecting when I put, first put in a connector and connected it to something else, I expected it to, uh, you know, so that I could, like, connect to things. Oh, look, there goes a comment. Uh, yeah, I expected to be able to connect to things and I'd be able to access the inventory of the thing I connected to from the ship I connected with. Uh, no. I looked it up on the wiki, and the connectors just act like giant ejectors at the moment. I don't know if they're going to change that or what. I have no idea. But yes, this is my first ship. Um, and I was kind of proud of it. Basically, what I did, I flew up to it in Little Red there. Landed here. Which this might even be... Yep, that's a little bit damaged from what I landed. And, uh, stopped it with my, uh, inertial dampeners on Little Red. And it worked. Uh, though I believe somehow I damaged the solar panels. Because I don't think these do solar panels were damaged when I first found the ship. Uh, there's a military escort. I'm staying way the hell away from that. Not until I build a big honking heavy-duty ship with a lot of armor and guns. <laughs> Then, then I'll, I'll go after military class stuff. No, what I'm going to wait for, I'm going to wait for mining class stuff. Or maybe a bigger business class something or other. I don't know what the size of them are, like they're, what they're called. I just know it's business, uh, mining, and military. So I'm going to wait for a big honkin' uh, I'm going to wait for a mining ship, hopefully. And it's going to be a little while because they spawn once every about 15 minutes. And that's about it. Um, one thing I did notice, okay? Uh, you'll notice that this is not the same asteroid that I was floating around before. 
Uh, no, the uh, platform asteroid is somewhere else. I f don't know exactly where it is. I will go back to it someday, I just haven't yet. Um, but I wanted to test a theory to see if uh, moving the yellow ship with its beacon would draw the asteroid, or uh, draw the comets. And the answer to that question is no. I have seen no comets since I moved here until the business shipment showed up. Then I started seeing comets. So that's why business shipment is also parked behind the asteroid, even though it's got solar panels. It's because if I park it in the sun, it'll probably get destroyed. Which may be the uh, end result <laughs> of business shipment. I don't know if I want to tear it apart for parts or just loot its crates and then put it out into the sun to get destroyed by comets just because that would be cool looking. I might be tempted to do that. I haven't decided yet, but so far, I have plans on building a fleet of ships. And like I said, I'm just waiting for the military... Well, I'm waiting for the military escort ship to go away so then a new ship can show up. And hopefully it's a mining ship or a bigger business class ship. So I shall cut to the chase. Well, there we go. Finally, that took four fracking ever. <laughs> Seriously, it was a uh, military transport and a military uh, mine place or whatever it's called. And then a military escort. And now we got a mining transport. Finally. Oh my god, that's, I sat here for far too damn long waiting for it to do something. So now we're going to go chase down something. I have no idea. Uh, I'm fairly sure that the, uh, the, the, the business class stuff doesn't have any kind of booby traps or weaponry or something. I know the military ships have weaponry. I don't know about the mining transport. So this is going to be kind of a new thing to me. And... That is an interesting shadow that keeps going back and forth. I love how I can actually look down and see stuff. It's really cool. I really like this game. I just really like what they did with this game. Let's see. You seem to be going that way, so let's kick up our speed this way a bit. Turn on our inertial dampeners real quick. There we go. And then just coast our way to the mining transport we'll do minor adjustments further on down the line um and i guess we'll just wait though i do i do like how they're doing this how this is being done like how uh, like even just meeting a ship is kind of a pain in the ass look i can see it it's a little speck right there right there, that little tiny speck in my crosshair. That's the ship. It's getting bigger. It's also going the wrong direction. Let's see if we can get a little bit more in front of this thing. I have no idea where in front of this thing is, but I'm hoping to meet it. Um, at least that's a general idea anyways. Uh, what I'm going to have to do uh, since I don't know if this thing has, like, booby traps or anything, I'm going to have to um, pull up beside it with inertial dampeners off. Oh, fuck nuggets. Well, uh, that answers that question. Um, yellow. That's a mining transport. That's not military. That's mining. But Little Red is still broadcasting. And Little Red is stationary. So, we can take yellow here. Or, uh, where are you? Where are you? There you are. We can take this guy. And we can go get it, at least. Um... Apparently, at some point, I hit T and ejected or something. I don't know. Did, is it damaged? If it's damaged, like if the cockpit's damaged, that's a problem. 
That's a huge problem. Um, should I wait until the mining transport goes away? Which one's which? I think the mining transport's getting closer. And I'm fairly sure Little Red is staying stationary. Um, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Well, I guess I can go try to go around the mining transport. I know it's a long way around, and this thing is not fast. But it'll work. It'll work well enough for my purposes anyways, hopefully. <laughs> I can't... I didn't know they had guns! Uh, I'm gonna have to build something that's a lot tougher to do that. Something with heavy, heavy uh, armor plating on it. But we should be able to just go and collect Little Red. Hopefully the cockpit's not damaged. Um, but you know what? If the cockpit is damaged, guess what's getting sacrificed to fix Little Red? <laughs> I don't care about this ship. I really, really don't. So I'm just going to take this ship. I'm going to tear it apart, fix Little Red, and we'll be good. But, uh, of course... I've just got to wait until I get there. And this thing does pretty good for fuel time, considering I left it one uh, uranium bar. I, I emptied this thing's inventory. That thing's getting really, really close. That mining transport, that's getting really close. But it's kind of heading off that way-ish. Hopefully, I don't get close to it. How close was I when I got near it? I was like 800 meters or something like that. Well, we're going to learn how to dogfight sometime here soon. Um, I wonder how much of a pain in the ass it would be to... Yeah. I wonder how much a pain in the ass it would be to figure out how to dogfight. That's going to be mildly difficult. But uh, that would be a perfect opportunity to make a Star Fury. I guess. But I'm still just kind of floating. Floating through space. Still getting really close to that mining transport. Hopefully it'll just pass on by. You know. Won't bother me. How is this still getting close? Why is this still getting close? One would think that its trajectory would be... Well, as such that uh, right now I'd be... There it goes. Now it's slowing down. The close... And now it should be increasing in distance. And there it goes. Okay, we're safe. Good. Now we can go straight for Little Red. God, this ship is slow. And I guess we'll see if it's damaged or not. If Little Red is damaged. If Little Red is damaged, then I'm going to tear this guy apart and fix Little Red. And if Little Red is not, well, we just park him on the back of the... Whatever this thing was. I forget. I turned off the beacon. Um, yeah, we'll just park Little Red on the back of it. And we'll just fly on back to our asteroid. Well, so, lesson learned. Don't go after mining transports. Always go after business class until you build something that's strong enough to go after things that can shoot you. But conveniently, Little Red's inertial dampeners were still active. Oh, this thing's gonna suck slowing down. Yep, there it goes. Well, fuck. <laughs> I hit my ship. <laughs> okay, cut that one a little too close there. Alright, and I think I saw it's uh, the cockpit's there. I don't know how I got ejected from it. I mean, if the cockpit's not damaged, I don't know how I got ejected. But, damn. That's a hole. That is a hole. That's not a hole I left. 
Interesting. What are you? Let's see. Seven. Oh, wow. You are messed up. You are damaged. All right. That's how far I could fix it. I need construction components, motors, and displays. Let us tear apart the non-important stuff like this guy. Because screw the collectors. And that connector on the other side. That thing's kind of worthless. If you think about it. Right now, they're kind of worthless. They will, they'll be worthwhile later on in the game, I'm sure. And I guess if I got really creative, I could be, I could do something cool with them. But uh, for the most part, they're kind of worthless. Um, all right, I still need more displays. Uh, let's tear apart the connector. That should give me what I need. Hopefully, that'll give me what I need. Um, I'm jumpy, jumpy, aren't I? Look how much I'm vibrating. Like, when I turn this thing on, look how much I'm vibrating. Holy crap. I love the little details that they put in this. All the little motions, all the little things. Like, even when you're walking and you move, even though head bob is turned off, it's still, you, you know, you're still feeling that you're moving. It's really cool. I like it. All right. Um, I need interior plates. But the cockpit is active, so I can actually use it. So let's fix this up a little bit. Eww. It almost hit my gyro. <sighs> Ooh, okay. Um, let's just fix you up a little bit. Conveniently, this game is called Space Engineers. And it's just a simple task of fixing everything. Oh, wow, I got fucked up. I got messed up, man. Hard. But it looks like it just took out the armor. I don't see any, like, thruster damage. Or anything really major. Just the cockpit got hit pretty hard. And armor. Armor got knackered. That's about it. And armor I could fix, obviously. God, that's bright. That is crazy bright. And that's damage to the small thruster. Okay, so apparently that actually did do something. We'll have to explore and see. My God, that's bright. Though, you guys should have seen it when I was, like, soldering the beacon. Oh my God, that was terrible. Uh, like, the combination between the, uh, the welder and the beacon light. It was just crazy. Everything else still good? Everything else is still pretty good. Um, okay, that was pretty damaged. Something's broken here. Because these are red. That's not good. That means something broke further down the line. Didn't it? Is my... Let's see, my conveyor's still there. The cargo container's still there. Um, and it's above working order. The large reactor is there, and it's working. So why are these... Ter or like, why are those red? That's working, that's working. I can still see the inventory of everything. But I can't access the inventory of the drills. Hmm. I'm going to have to tear this thing apart. Oh, look. There's a commercial freighter right fracking there. Guess where we're going. <laughs> and it is right freaking here. I've never seen a commercial freighter. Watch. Uh, I go to the commercial freighter and there's freaking weapons on it. It would be terrible. Let's get in front of you a bit. I think this is getting in front of you. No, you're going this way, so you're nowhere near in front of... Like, I'm nowhere near in front of you. Let's slow down a little bit.
I'm within 800 meters, and I'm not seeing any targeting. Okay, so this is a good sign. This is a good sign. Um, well, oh, shit, 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 shit. God fucking damn this save. Ah, oh, did I crash it? I crashed it. Yeah, there it goes again. And now Little Red is smashed, like absolutely destroyed. <sighs> well, okay. That sucks. Um, I guess I'm going to end the episode here. I I'm going to have to go rebuild Little Red. Um because it's now trashed completely. Um, yeah, so <laughs> that was a failure. Um, yeah, so I'll rebuild Little Red, and then in the next episode, I'm going to build something that can actually go up against these ships. I'm going to build something that's armored, like with heavy armor and the big armor blocks and crap like that. I'm going to make a big ship. We're going to make something that can actually go up against the weapons and do some damage. All right, so... I will see you guys in the next episode, and let's see, I see yellow, I see commercial freighter, that means Little Red would be right there. Yeah, Little Red is tra trash. There's no point in even going after it. Because I'm not seeing its beacon, that means the reactor was hit. Alrighty, so uh, then I will see you guys in the next episode, and as always, keep playing the game, and have fun.